We are now in the South Hills of Idaho where we are camping for the weekend. We've come here to this particular county to look for an endemic species. That means this bird can only be found in this county. We're in Cassia County in Idaho, which might clue you into the bird we're looking for. That is, of course, the Cassia crossbill. So you might have heard of the red crossbill, which is the more widespread bird that is very closely related to the Cassia crossbill. The Cassia crossbill, in fact, used to be a red crossbill until it was recognized as a full species in 2017. Some differences from the red crossbill, the Cassia crossbill is not nomadic. It stays year round in this single county in Idaho, though some have also been reported in California and Colorado. Now the reason the Cassia crossbill is only found in the South Hills of Idaho is because they have such a high concentration of lodgepole pines and the lodgepole pine cone is too tough for the red crossbill to open. However, the cassia crossbill developed a thicker bill, giving them access to these seeds and a reliable food source. These birds were likely around and ready to be found, so let's find them. Welcome back if you're new here. My name's Hawken, your virtual birding guide. And that is right, we are camping in the South Hills of Idaho. We got in here last night and we're gonna be camping here for one more night after this, spending the whole weekend here with the hopes of finding the Cassia crossbill. That is our main target and what my focus is gonna be on for the whole trip basically. But there are of course gonna be tons of other great birds. Alicia and I are gonna go zip lining. We're gonna to head to a hummingbird sanctuary. So there's plenty to see throughout this whole trip. And we woke up this morning there were birds all around the campground, so I've pulled out my camera here and I've been trying to get some footage of them. And spoiler alert, we already got the Cassia crossbill. A flock of about four or five of them flew into the pine trees just over here, right by our campground. This is one of the reasons I love camping while birding, is you get so many birds just around where you're staying. There's a western flycatcher calling right next to me right now. A broad-tailed hummingbird has zipped through a couple times. It's been pretty incredible. But even though I've already seen the Cassia crossbill and got a really, really cap crappy shot of it, that's still gonna be my main focus. I wanna get some better footage of it and ideally a good picture. So we're gonna be looking around this area up here in Idaho for them because I don't know the next time I'm gonna come back here, honestly. So I wanna get a great photo of them while I still can. I don't know if you heard that, the hummingbird just zipped by again. But anyways, without further ado, let's get to some birding. After those great looks of the western flycatcher, a brand new species for me earlier this year, we picked up a few common birds like the American Robin, the Northern Flicker, before heading away from our campground and going to the Magic Mountain Ski Resort parking lot to look for more birds and potentially more crossbill. There was a very pretty sounding creek that was flowing nearby and right in the midst of it was a very, very feisty song sparrow. Just listen to this guy. There was a potential he was mad at me, so I moved on, and atop the pine trees, I got another look at a Cassia crossbill. Though this one was only slightly better than the first looks. So we have a few more crossbills up in these pine trees by Magic Mountain Ski Resort, but I can't relocate them. They flew in and now I'm having trouble finding them. Although I missed my opportunity, this Western Tanager was a nice consolation prize. We are heading up towards the Pine Mountain Overlook right by the Diamond Field Jack Campground. 
um, which is a famous area to look for cassia crossbill. It is nicer here because you can get up higher than some of the pot pine trees that they feed on, so you have a good chance of seeing them more at eye level to get better shots. Unfortunately, we didn't come across any. There were just a handful of sparrows up here and a beautiful western tanager. Still, we're gonna continue our way up to the top of this overlook and just see the views all around. Now truth be told, I was having a little trouble IDing these sparrows, so if you have any thoughts, please put them down below. There's actually some better views of them later. But also in the area were some gorgeous mountain bluebirds. These are just very, very stunning birds. And it was very cool to watch this one in particular because it was using a nest box and it looks like it was carrying food to some potential young inside that I was hearing. We then reached the top of the overlook that gave us some pretty sweeping views of the area down below. Here's that tough sparrow once again, I think it's the same species. If you do know what this is, maybe you can tell by these videos instead of that one before, and here's a photo just in case. Let me know what you think in the comments, I'd appreciate any help you have. Anyways, we wrapped up with one last common raven at this spot, but you are going to want to stick around because this next location is incredible. One of the best spots I have ever been to for hummingbirds. There were so many feeders, and of course, along with it, so many hummingbirds so close to us. It was incredible. I just could not believe this location, the effort that goes into it, and the beautiful sightings we were able to get. So enjoy the hummingbirds. So we've made it to the hummingbird sanctuary. This is one of the more insane things I've ever had in birding. I think I counted 28 feeders just from where we're sitting, and that's not counting all the birdhouses and stuff they have here too. There are hummingbirds everywhere. They keep landing in the pine tree, they'll come down to feed, then they'll chase each other for a while. We've gotten a rufous hummingbird, black-chinned hummingbird, broad-tailed hummingbird, and maybe a calliope. We're holding out to get a more for sure ID on a calliope hummingbird. That's the main bird I want to see here because I think this would be one of the easiest places to get it. This is so unique though. You can compare them so directly because there's so many around here and you can glance and see the varying sizes of these hummingbirds. There's probably some behind me right now too. They're just all over and they don't seem to mind the people. At least they're used to all the people around the area. Well, that was pretty unbelievable. I managed to see all four species of hummingbirds that do regularly occur here. We had the rufous hummingbird, the black-chinned hummingbird, the broad-tailed hummingbird, and I did see a calliope hummingbird, potentially two of them. For sure one though, I saw a male with the pink gorget and that was awesome, but it landed for a second and immediately got chased away by a black-chinned hummingbird, so I was not able to get that one on camera. The maybe one was a smaller female or juvenile we were looking at right at the beginning when we first showed up. We were going mainly based off size and the relation of its wings to its tail, so that one's a little more iffy, but we for sure did get one on the list, which is awesome. Target accomplished here. We're gonna continue on to do some more activities today, though. Gonna take a pause in the birding for a bit, but I'll check back in with you soon. Now these camp trips can't be all birding. Alicia and I got up to a bunch of fun things, including zip lining by the Snake River, which was a blast. Very cool zip line tour. And then we went to a waterfall also in the same area that you could walk underneath. That was kind of gross because it's agricultural runoff, 
So it's not maybe the cleanest, but it was still very pretty nonetheless. Then after grabbing a nice little sweet treat, we headed to one of the most famous locations in Twin Falls, Idaho. That is of course Shoshone Falls, also known as the Niagara of the West, which I think is a well-deserved nickname. Just look at this gorgeous waterfall. One thing that was particularly amusing was that there was a flock of birds here, and I believe they were mostly pigeon. Now this isn't an area where I would have expected to see so many pigeon, but they made their home right at these falls. We headed back to the camp where I prepared some dinner for us in the evening, some ramen, which turned out really great, and then we had s'mores along the campfire and turned in for the evening. All right, welcome back. It is now Sunday. We are at some of the same spots we were yesterday because I wasn't really satisfied with the shots of the Cassia crossbill that I got. And I was right to come here when we first arrived. I heard some of their flight calls, but they were heading the wrong way, unfortunately. And so I filmed a couple of birds here. Most of the stuff was the same as yesterday. So we're gonna continue on to the next spot that had the best looks at some of these pine trees at close to eye level and hope a crossbill shows up there. And then we're gonna go a little bit farther down the road because we heard moose could be seen. So seeing a moose would be a pretty cool end of the trip, but let's finish out this trip, see what birds we can find, and maybe let's see if we can find a moose. Like I mentioned, the first spot had many of the same species. There were lots of violet green swallows flying around and the pine siskin were plentiful up in the trees. There was yet again a song sparrow around in the brush too, but nothing extraordinary to film. Moving along to the other area, this is where I was really hopeful to see a crossbill because you could actually get some good eye level views of the tops of these trees, but unfortunately none were around. Well, sadly, no better looks at the Cassia crossbill, but I'm just happy I got that onto my life list, and it was a fun adventure overall. We got some great looks at different species, adding some new birds to my Idaho life list. It's a really awesome time camping out here in Idaho. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me, but thank you as always for watching. I will see you in the next one. Happy birding.